Welcome back everyone. I am doing a Valentine series and this is going to be of course before Christmas because I've actually run out of a lot of my holiday paper to complete something that I really want to do and this has been sitting you guys know I have had these collections I had ordered previously and didn't get a chance to use it and I just thought it was great to you know some people start now especially I imagine most of you have your holiday mail and stuff already out. So this can be done with one 12 by 12 paper. Uh, you cut in half by uh, two, you can, or you can have two six by 12 papers, or you can do it as four by 12, and then you get three albums out of it. So this is going to be the six by 12, right? And this is gonna be a four by 12 version. So I'm gonna be doing the six by 12 version today just because it's bigger and I think more people prefer that. And it's a really simple one page wonder that I just kind of created. And you know, I'm loving to find those ways to make it different than the previous albums. So again, this is gonna be so easy as always. I've got, and I just added just a fun few little different things. I'm gonna have this pocket here. Of course, you can always flip it so you have that pocket in the front like we've been doing previously. And you flip this, and I like this because it's interactive, and I put this little thing here, and you've got this little envelope here. And then you have this fun little tab, and I can show you two ways to kind of do this album if you wanna switch it up. And then up here you have your little top pocket. But how cute is this? And it's really interactive for just a small, quick album. And let me show you this version. So again, this is gonna be six by 12, this is gonna be four by 12, and here I just added a little like pocket in the front off of the collection but you can see here you can just like slide something in there but that's just an idea kind of like what I had done with the tags and this one I just did a little different instead of the vellum so if you want to add something you've got your little side pocket and I just want to show you so you can see how it looks as this side comparable to that side especially if you just have four by twelves laying around and I added just a little glitter embellishment here, which would have been really pretty here too. And maybe I'll do that for the newbies. And you've got this little pocket here. So this is gonna be simple and fun, and I really could just create these all day. So again, now um, you, can, I'm gonna, you can get a 12 by 12 cut in half or two six by 12s. And I've got my two six by 12s right here. So let's start with the front. The first page is going to be the cover. All right, and the scoring is gonna be at the 12 inch mark and it's gonna be one and a half, five and a half, and nine and a half inches. I mean, a Valentine's is already out in the store, right? So why not just start? <laughs> so one and a half, five and a half, and nine and a half. Okay, now let me kind of show you how this is gonna go, if I can remember myself. So we're going to take this and fold it in. Again, if you don't want it, if you don't want this to be inside, you can always fold it this way too. And I that was very tempted to do that, but I was like, you know what? They might be sick of me doing that front pocket. And I really, really loved how this cover looks because it's just so pretty. I didn't even really want to put anything on it. Anyway, so then once you do that, fold this down. And we're going to go ahead and fold this back. So it's going to look like that. Now to do the little fancy corners, which I thought just kind of added to this like shabby type album, is I just took my one inch punch here and made these little edges here. And I just thought I made it just a little bit more fancier, right? Of course you don't have to do that, but it gives you just a different look. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down right there on the sides. I have glitter bomb everywhere, you guys, from all my projects. So we will be traveling, so I'm hoping to get at least one more video up before we have to go. Okay, so that's gonna be the first page. Let's go ahead and do the second page now, which is gonna be the next six by 12 page. So six by 12, Ooh, my pocket doesn't wanna stay down for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this aside for a minute. And guess what we're gonna do? We're doing the same exact measurements. We're doing one and a half, five and a half, and nine and a half. So it doesn't make it more easier than that, which is why it makes it 
a quick like mass make. One and a half, five and a half, and nine and a half, especially if you're doing the four by twelves. Okay, now let me get this out of the way. So you can see again on my desk. Okay, so now we're doing that. So what we're going to do is take this and from our old page and just kind of clip it to if you want that fun look to it. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this down. And what we're going to do is make this our little bottom pocket here. So let me just fold it. So that's gonna go here and that's gonna be our little flip pocket right there. Now, this is where you have the option. So for me, just to create a different, I'm gonna fold this and push this back and I'm gonna make this a pocket. Now, if you don't wanna do that, just leave it open and you can have like a bigger, more flippy type thing. But let me go ahead and glue my pocket down right here. Ooh, try to. Sorry, I went to the gym and I actually used a little bit of weights and my hands are shaky from it. My hands are always shaky when I'm filming, but today it's even worse because I used heavier weights than I'm used to using. Okay, just make sure that is even because mine is not. So you're gonna have that little flip. And just so you can see for reference, it should be like this. Okay, now again, you can leave it like this and make it a big fun flip out album or do what I'm doing, which is I'm gonna make this a pocket. So before I do that, I'm gonna put a little thumb notch right here before I seal it up. And I'm just gonna glue this down. So I'm just gonna do this little backwards L over here. and glue that down and then you have this fun little tag right here. Tab, sorry, not tag. But do you see how easy that was? And the same measurements, so you don't even have to worry about doing different measurements. And you have all these little flippy things and it's actually, I don't think it's as obvious when you're making it for someone to really understand what you did. And that's what makes it really cool. They'll be like, hmm, how did they do that, right? Because everything's kind of hidden. So, voila, and let me take some of these fun little embellies and just kind of show you what's going on here. So, this is just gorgeous as it is. I don't even want to touch it, but I'm going to. And I'll just put that there. This collection is gorgeous. I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for the right album to use. And this was like, sc like screaming my name. I actually started it with some Christmas paper. I messed it up. I actually want to show you guys. <laughs> I messed it up because I didn't like, so of course I always mess up too, but I only had limited of this and I want to just show you kind of like what I did. So I had originally done that and it just, I made the pocket too small and I was like, why did I do that? And this is just some more ideas for you guys. And then if you want to do like a vellum belly band, that's what I did. And then here I added a tab on this one, but it just looked boring. <laughs> It didn't look wow to me, and I was like, I need to switch my paper, and I don't like how I did that pocket. So it doesn't look boring. It's still a nice album, but I just preferred it on there. Do you see the difference that paper makes, though? It's kind of just like this, and then you've got like, oh, that. So, all right. So for that, and then I added a little tag right here. You can or don't have to do that. This is bigger, so I'm just going to kind of leave it. That was looking a little boring. And I'm just gonna steal some of this in here so I don't have to cut it out. And for here, just for my vellum pocket, it's just a three and a half by eight and a half sheet of paper. And I really just eyeballed it like I always do, just kind of like fold it down. I don't even score it, just kind of fold it wherever your page is, especially if you're using a different size paper. So I just did that and I just kind of slice it like that, just to make a pocket. And then you have your little add-in pocket right here. Now for the vellum pockets, I definitely prefer to use a little bit of tape so you can't see it unless you smudge it in, but I just do it really quickly like this. And then you 
could add a little piece of tape there or I'm just going to dot it right here so it just sticks. And of course you can add some flowers or whatever it is that you want to add on here. I'll just put a tiny one right here. So we just make a simple vellum pocket, no fuss. And for my hearts here, you can see their glitter. So that was actually done with my stickle things here, but I won't do that now because obviously it has to dry. And so we're just gonna add some little tags here. Oh, I feel like my camera is getting blurry. I hope it's not after I'm done filming. Okay. And let me see. Let me move my stuff over here. I'm like reaching over there and I can't see what's going on. I'm just trying to find some things from this collection here that I can stick on there. So here's just a pretty bird. And sometimes I like to just use tape in case I mess up. This glue is obviously very, very unforgiving. And I just kind of put on the edge right here. So we've got this. And this is you can put something here, or if you guys want, especially for the newbies, I had added something here, right? The same thing that I did to this page. But if you're a newbie and you're not familiar with what I do, it's really simple. I just take some red line tape, or you can take any double-sided tape and just stick that on there. And I'm just gonna do a glitter strip. So we can see how this one looks with this. The question is, do I use gold or silver? Actually, I think this collection has more gold in it. As much as I've been leaning toward the silver. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm getting like a blur and I really hope you guys can see. Okay, I think you guys can see. Cause I don't have too much of this paper left and I don't wanna have to re-record it. <laughs> Especially when it comes out pretty. Who wants to re record, right? Oops. So, what is everyone's plans for the holiday? Are you traveling? Are you staying home? We will be traveling to my family. So, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that and spending some time with them. I'm going to use this champagne color. The one that I used in that small album, actually. I think this one is Martha, by the way, the Martha glitter. Oh my gosh, it doesn't want to come out. Usually it pours out. So if you are a newbie, that is just kind of my trick to get that going. And I actually think that's really pretty. Right, so I'll get this glitter bomb out of here. And you can stick a tag here if you want. This collection came with all these awesome tags when I got this other kit with it. It comes with the tags and these cute little tickets. That right here. So I'm just gonna put that tag there. You don't obviously have to do this, but. I'm just kind of putting something there just to put it there and then you can add a little thing here or make more pockets whatever you want to do I had just did this and I actually made it a little like side pocket thing but this is really just pretty just the way it is I don't really like to cover it when it's pretty 
So that's pretty much what I did for this fun little album. It's super simple. Let me just give you a little tour of what we did. And you can still add that thing if you want, just to make it, if you want to add more of this, which I want to do that. So you can see how it looks with the glitter strip. See, it's never too early for Valentine's. And if you're doing holiday, still, if you have time, like if you have local friends, yeah, I really like how that looks with that still too. So there you go, guys. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really, really love this one. So hope you guys do too. All right, guys, if I, I'm trying to upload one more video, but if not, have a really happy holiday and I will hopefully be back before New Year's. All right, guys, thank you so much.